Hey there guys, how's it going? It's great to see you all, I'm back. I'm here um, ready to make a perfume video for you tonight. It's 11 o'clock at night, gone now. Um, I've heard baby stirring a few times, so I think I'm gonna get interrupted at some point making this. But um, I'm just so pleased to be um, able to devote some time um, to my channel and to, to making this video for you tonight. Um, I just want to wish everyone who's watching a Happy New Year. I know it's late. Um, I'm really sorry. I hope you all had a great Christmas. Um, I was so wanting to make a video over Christmas um, because Christmas is just the ultimate highlight of the perfume calendar so to speak for me and always has been um i just love christmas and and always have done and, and a big part of that is is always perfume so um i was i was really hoping to make a video over christmas and i just didn't get the opportunity um so i hope you had a great christmas and i hope santa brought you lots and lots of fragrant goodies um if you were good boys and girls, that's uh, helping you now get through this um, miserable January that we're having um, here in the UK. Um, it's very, very miserable. Um, so hopefully you've got some lovely perfumes to cheer you up. Um, if you follow my channel, you'll know I've been gone for quite a long time. It's been about four or five months. Um, and uh, it's uh, it's not been the best five months. Um, in fact, it's not been a good five months at all, actually. Um, I stopped my last video, well, I stopped filming after my last video because I was going back to work um, after maternity leave. And um, a lot's happened in this time. And I think what I might do is make a life update video separately for anyone who's interested. Um, in what I've been up to because I know that you're here to um, to hear about perfumes I'm dying to talk about perfumes and just give some time um, to, to my to my love and um, I've had a lovely day today actually I've, I've been out for the first time in about five months or, or more um, just perfume browsing I went with my mom and we just went into town and just I sprayed loads of fragrances that I've been dying to try after watching videos on YouTube and lots more new releases and I'm just in that wonderful happy zone of perfume heaven I just have got perfume sprayed on every spare bit of skin that I've got um, I've got some amazing mixtures of different combinations that just smell divine um, and um, I've got lots of ideas as well of, of different perfumes to talk about um, with you. So I mean let's just get going then really and crack on. Um, I have had um, quite a few new perfumes to my collection over the past few months, um, some at Christmas and some I, I purchased a couple after Christmas and um, and even before Christmas um, and uh, I've got quite a few here to get through just to show you and talk briefly about because I don't want it to be too long a video I'd love it to be you know I could talk all day um, about them but it is very late and um, and also I'm not sure about the storage situation on my phone and I'd love to get through them all before it cuts me off so um let me just um i'm really excited to just highlight to you um uh, a, a, a brand of perfume which i have come across before but really explored today and um it's called batiga vanita and there's a particular one. This this is a sample I managed to get of the kind of signature, the original, which by the way is absolutely gorgeous. Um, they're all gorgeous. The one that I've absolutely 
fallen in love with after sampling today and I'm still on a high and still can smell because I, I just had to keep spraying it it was gorgeous um it's called knot as in a knot in a rope um not n-o-t k-n-o-t um by Batiga Venita um and my goodness it's so so classy it's um it's so it's just sophisticated and understated and smells like a million dollars it's just smells so so refined it's like perfume heaven um please do go and have a spray if you can find it i saw it in debenhams so it's it's hopefully readily available um but it is at a high higher price point i think you're probably looking at about 70 80 pounds for um for a 100 ml bottle i mean it's way out of my price range but it is the very top of my want to buy list um whenever i possibly can in the future um it's it's just really really gorgeous please do try and have a spray of that one and they're all lovely batiga venita um and i've got a sample here of one called eau de valors it's called i wrote the um oh gosh it's so good <laughs> it's so lovely guys it this is a night one it's very strong oh, it's um it's very rich it's very warm i've got no idea what's in it i haven't had time to to research it at all really um but the lady sprayed it for me today and it's another one that's just beautiful so there's eau de valors there's the original signature batiga Venita, and there's not um so Anyway, just do check those out. I'd highly recommend though that you check those out. Um, and another one I just wanted to quickly flag, going a little bit off winter and Christmas and the, the cold feel, ready for your summer holidays, which I have mentioned this before in, um, in a, a summer video last year, but I just wanted to flag up again because it is so beautiful. Lemony, citrusy, fresh, clean, beautiful long-lasting um, fragrance by Carven. It's just the Carven Lode de Toilette. Um, and if you're looking for something now, thinking forward ahead to your holidays and, you know, thinking about booking that, that beach break, then um, do look out for this one. Maybe if you could get it between now and then, if it's on offer or, I, I really would strongly recommend that one as well. Um, oh, and on the summer note as well, um, I bought this um, last end of sort of end of last summer, and it's called Halle by Halle Berry. And I'm not really big on celebrity fragrances, I have to say. I've got another one here I'm going to talk about in a minute, uh, Fantasy by Britney Spears. Um, I'm not big on celebrity fragrances. There are a few that. I really do like. I love Jennifer Lopez's um, range. I've, I've always loved Glow. It's one of my favourites. I love Jennifer Lopez Glow. Sarah Jessica Parker, love her stuff. Um, and of course, Elizabeth Taylor. I mean, huge, huge fan of White Diamonds, one of the greats. So I'm not averse to celebrity fragrances. I think I just tend to find that I don't know. I just um, I, I don't I don't know what it is. I mean, I'm 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 really not averse to them, as as I say. Um, it's just that I I don't tend to buy them a lot. I'm rambling on. Um, Halle Berry. It's gorgeous, guys. Really, really nice. It was on offer, so I snapped it up. It was only about six ninety nine in the house of Fraser, and um, it's perfect for a beach holiday. It's so lovely just for round the pool, um, you know, 
trip down to the beach, whatever it is. Uh, it's, it's, it's very, very summery. It's very exotic smelling. Um, and it's just gorgeous. It's really, really nice. So again, do, do check that one out. Halle by Halle Berry. Um, <clears throat> so this was a Christmas present and I've never actually smelt um, this ever and I haven't taken it out of the box. Quite a few of these I'm unboxing today actually because I've never actually opened them. So I'm excited. I've never tried anything by Britney Spears. Um, I think with celebrities you do tend to kind of, if you're not that keen on the celebrity, you wouldn't probably want to buy their perfume probably. And maybe because I'm a big Sex and the City fan, I just naturally was inclined to like... I mean, of course they smell nice, but I was probably more um, more, more likely to like Sarah Jessica Parker's range because I like her. Um, whereas Britney Spears probably doesn't do a lot for me, so I wouldn't probably go out and buy her perfume. Um, but it, as it's a gift, you know I'm, I'm absolutely chuffed so let's um let's have a go and see what this is like oh it's a really pretty bottle yeah it's it is it is a pretty bottle maybe a little bit on on the tacky side but i don't mind tacky i don't mind tacky at all it's it's a, it's a nice bottle. Can't smell anything on there because it's never been sprayed before. Right, let's let's find a bit of space. I have got quite a few from earlier, as I say, that I put on, but I'm I'm sure it'll work. Hmm. Yes. It's what I expected, really. It's quite fruity, quite fresh. Mm, it's 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 quite gourmand actually. It's sort of um, yummy, mm, it's yummy like sweets. Hmm, like a lovely bag of pick and mix or something. It smells like to me. That's really pleasant. I I thought it would be actually. I did think it would be quite kind of youthful, fruity, fresh. I love fruity florals and fresh fragrances. So yeah, that's that's quite pleasant. I quite like that. That would be lovely just day to day. Maybe out of the shower. Want something to make me smell nice and fresh. And feel nice and fresh. Nice. Nice. I'll see how that one goes. Yeah. The bottle is really cool. I'm tempted to say it's a bit tacky. Have I said that? But I have said it's tacky, haven't I? <laughs> but... um. I think I'm just worried about saying that because it was a gift and I don't want to offend anybody. Um, but it it's it is it's 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 likable, tacky, not offensive. It's it's nice. Okay, great. What have I got next then to show you? Well, I did do um in the sales online a really quick um 80s throwback. 90s 80s 90s kind of um to bring back some memories i ordered a few oldies but goodies um who remembers exclamation uh what are we like like early 90s mid 90s so i haven't opened this yet either actually but i got some just because i remember how much i always used to like it who remembers that box like the exclamation mark. Uh, oh, let me remind myself what this used to smell like. I'm going quite high up my arm because I've got it all over everywhere. Oh. <laughs> I used to wear this when I was a teenager. It, I don't, I don't like it as much as I remember. I used to like it actually. Hmm. It smells a bit chemically, actually. Have they given me a dud bottle? It smells really chemically. Like fairy liquid. I don't remember it smelling like fairy liquid. 
Did exclamation used to smell like fairy liquid? How odd. That's not what I remember at all. Hmm. I'll have to see how that one goes. Maybe it just used to smell nicer when I was younger because I was grateful to have maybe the one bottle of it out of any bottles. I just had one. Hmm. I'm not sure about that now. I'll see how that one goes too in a minute. But anyway, you, you, it's a classic. It is a classic. So I, I snapped that one up. Um, I, I ummed and ahed for ages over which Charlie I wanted to buy. They were going for amazing prices um, online uh, for 100ml bottles. So I was like, shall I get Charlie Blue, Charlie Red, Charlie Gold, Charlie Silver, Charlie White? Love them all. Um, and so I settled on getting Charlie White. Who used to have Charlie White when you were younger? Or even where's it now? I love Charlie White. I love this perfume so much. Oh, it's a lovely big bottle. <clears throat> I'm sure this will, will should hopefully smell the same. I'll go for my fingers because I'm out of... Oh, yeah, that smells, that smells the same as I remember it. It's just so lovely and fresh. Oh, and so warm. It, this brings back memories of Christmas, actually. I can remember getting this for Christmas when I was a teenager and wearing it over Christmas. And then wearing it to school and feeling like, yeah, I'm, I, I smell amazing. It's just a really nice, wearable perfume, Charlie White. It's, it's just, again... You know, when you've you've had a shower and you just spritz it on just to just to keep feeling really, really fresh and nice and it's just lovely. It's just really lovely. Um so yeah, so Charlie White, I'm giving you a shout out. Let's bring you back out of the eighties and nineties. Um please do get in touch in the comments if you're rocking a, a Charlie at the moment. Um, and which is your favourite Charlie? I do love them all. I think overall my favourite Charlie is Charlie Red, if I had to pick one. But it is a bit strong and, um, and, and it isn't as kind of in the house wearable. I was just after something nice to wear in the house really. So uh, that is just perfect. Okay, uh, what else have I got to show you? What's that one there? Oh, I got this gift box for Christmas, actually. Um, it's a Versace gift box. Um, and I've not opened this. And um, because they're really tiny, teeny tiny, it might be a bit tricky to, um, to kind of smell them all. I've never smelled any of them. I'm not a big Versace... Um, uh, I haven't got a big history with Versace, actually. I, I don't remember ever having a Versace fragrance, so I'm excited about this and about smelling them. So it's um, it's the Crystal Noir, which is in a black bottle. So whenever you see a black bottle, I tend to think that's a night one. That's going to be quite strong and heavy and, and night. Let's see if I can lovely lid mm. yummy I'm not going to pour it because there's hardly any in it and I don't want to waste it so um, I'm sorry I'm not much help telling you what these smell like but maybe you can tell me a little bit more about them Versace Crystal Noir and then there's Versace Bright Crystal which when they're pink tends to make me think that they're going to be quite light and floaty and fresh. Yep, it smells like Ralph Lauren Romance, which I love. So that's lovely. Put it on the end of my nose and then I can smell it when I go to sleep. Nice. The bottles are just beautiful. Those two have got the same 
must be the crystal link in their names <clears throat> those lovely stoppers i can imagine if you've got a 50 ml or 100 ml bottle with a huge stopper on they're going to be really nice to have on your dressing table what's this next one Versace Eros, mm, nice, beautiful bottle. I love miniatures. Oh, I love miniatures so much. I actually, um, I'm, I'm sorry to keep playing with my hair. It's really annoying me at the moment. Um, at my wedding, um, the favours for my guests were, of course, perfume bottle miniatures. Um, so in their little bag with the little sweets and whatever else I had in there for them. I, I, I can't really remember what else I put in apart from the perfume, of course. <laughs> and I had little miniatures of Lancome Miracle um, just for the ladies, of course. I can't remember what I gave the man. That It wasn't a fragrance. I, I gave them um, some confectionery, I think, or something. Um, but... For the ladies, it was miniature Lancome Miracles. Um, and I just adore miniatures. I mean, how cute and gorgeous. Look at that. Let's have a sp smell of this one. Mm, I'm not getting a lot from that. Let's have a little. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's it's developing. Kind of feel like I've smelled that before about 20 times. I have to be honest and say my nose is really not working well. Um, not only because it's really late and I'm extremely tired. Um, I'm just... Um, I'm, I'm not feeling the best to be honest I'm not um, I'm not on top form at all which I do apologize if you you're looking at these to see if you should get them because I'm not helping you in this video at all I'm afraid it, it's sort of a it's a g generic kind of nice floral it's very it's very flowery hmm at the bottle I mean the bottle is gorgeous I don't know what it's got on the lid I'm not quite sure but it's really beautiful so the bottles are lovely hang on a minute there's two. Oh, okay okay I thought I was going mad then that's the eau de parfum and then they've got the eau de toilette Right, let's see if there's a difference. I don't want to waste any. <laughs> I really can't tell if there's any difference. That's a lot fresher. It's a lot lighter. A little bit f smells smells like it's got a fruitier edge than the parfum, which is very very floral. Um, I I I heard actually or read that I always used to think that an eau de toilette was just a lighter version of an eau de parfum, but was um educated it was either on a youtube video or i read somewhere um that actually they are completely different often so um you do have to sample them both because they can smell completely different and i think in that case with that versace eros that is the case they smell very very different and i would go for the the eau de toilette definitely nice and fresh so anyway, it's a lovely little gift set and um, I shall enjoy um, looking and sniffing every so often. I don't tend to like to wear the little the little ones because when they're gone I feel sad. So I'll just keep putting them on my nose every so often so, so I can smell them. 
that was a lovely gift that I had. I feel very lucky to have had that. Um, oh, my mum bought me Machino pink bouquet. And um, that's just because she knows me so well. Anything pink and girly, I'm there and I love. <laughs> so um, my mum's got me summed up perfectly with this. And again, I haven't sprayed it yet, so I'm excited. Just had no time at all. Check out my life update video to see how mad things have been. Um, so this is really exciting. Oh, wow. It's so pretty. That is so, so pretty. It's kind of a little bit like the... The fantasy actually I think people who are buying me gifts don't know me very well uh, with the pink um, it's very very pretty I love it I, I adore Machino with a passion I love 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 Machino fragrances haven't smelt this one though let's have a go with this one I'm imagining again it's a nice fruity floral I, I've not done any research on this um, what can I do? Where can I go? I've sprayed it on my knee. You will think I'm crazy, but I really don't have any anywhere else to spray it. Hmm. Yeah. Very unusual. Very unusual. sweets again it's like it's like some lovely um it's like walking into a sweet shop lots and lots of of um it's a sugary delicious kind of gourmand sweetie smell it's a sweetie it's a dolly mixture smell which is 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 very pleasant um, but whether it, it leans to boarding on the sickly over time, I'm not quite sure with that actually. Let me spray it in the air. Mm. I'm not all singing or dancing with this. It's, um, I mean, I'm not singing and dancing with it. <clears throat> it's, it's pleasant. It's maybe just a little bit sweet for, for me, actually. Um, but I mean, it, I, 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 I'm, I'm not fussy, to be honest, when it comes to perfumes. I will certainly wear it. And um, it's definitely like a day-to-day -day kind of perfume, this one. And will be lovely just to wear around the house or on a, a trip out in the day somewhere. Um, it's, it's, it's certainly, um, very, very sweet and, and pretty and girly and lovely. I think it's probably occurred to me, it's quite a young fragrance. I think, um, I'm feeling a little bit old at the moment and not like an energetic 18 year old. I think she'd probably wear this. Um, but it it is it is it is very nice and it's a lovely box. Go and have a spray of that and see what you think. I'm really sorry to be quite inarticulate about how they smell. I'm just really really tired now, and um, I think I'm I'm like really starting to run out of energy. Um, another one I got though. Um, this was in the sales. I bought this one for myself. I thought, you know what, I'm going to have a treat. We all need a treat sometimes and I've really needed a treat lately. It's called Encanto Bloom uh, by Salvatore Ferragamo, who I first came across, across with Sig Signor Signoria, um, which is a, a lovely spring-summer fresh fragrance and a beautiful pink bottle with a ribbon around it it's really really nice um and um this is a blind by i i haven't smelt this one yet either uh so i think i'm going a little bit nose blind to be honest now and 
you know when you just need some coffee beans to come along so you can just have a little smell of those because um, I'm a bit overwhelmed now I mean after that Batiga Benita one earlier which I'm so in love and I sprayed a lot I've, I'm kind of getting a bit overwhelmed with all these new smells now oh wow what a bottle that is just gorgeous I'm starting to see a theme in the kinds of perfumes that <laughs> you see they're similar they're all they're all very similar I think I need to grow up a bit I think yeah I think I think I'm thinking I'm still like 20 or something these are very useful perfumes I can just see by the the style of it of the bottle and everything let's have a spray no point smelling that yet because it's never been sprayed where can I sp I haven't got anything left to spray it on um, Oh, I'll just I'll just spray it over here on the. Oh, that's really nice. That is really really nice. Have I got something? I'll go on the inside of my hand now. That's really really lovely. Is it Lacoste pink? It's reminding me of. All these pink kind of fragrances they've all got this kind of fresh fruity theme going to them and I have to say all are smelling quite similar to me tonight see how that one goes but it's it's very lovely I mean I'm really happy um I will certainly be wearing that it's very much a, sp a summer that's a summer actually not even spring that's a summer perfume that's really gorgeous um, so I've got lots of summer stuff here to be going on with. Um, and I think actually I've just got one last um, purchase to talk to you about. Um, I've been meaning for absolutely ages to join the Perfume Society, which if you haven't heard of is, um, is a, an online um, kind of, there's a like a... Um, I'm so tired guys, I'm so sorry, I can't put my words together and these earrings are really pinching my ears now, they really hurt. Let me, let me get my words out. It's called the Perfume Society and um, it was quite expensive which is why I did deliberate for a long, long time. But after Christmas, I had some, some Christmas money as a gift and I thought, no, I'm, I'm going to do this. And what you do is you join up as a member and they send you, I think it's quarterly um, magazines on over the email. So you can read all about stuff that's going on in the perfume world and gossip and new releases and all these kinds of things. But the reason I really wanted it um, was because you get a welcome box which is what I've got here which I haven't opened yet so I'm really excited to open this on this video and um, you then get discounts on their other boxes and they've got some lovely gift boxes with little samples in them that you can get and then you get them half price so a box like this which I'll show you in a minute which should be 25 ordinarily would be something like um, I think it's 12 pounds 12 pounds 50 um, and I just thought that would be nice in the coming year for gifts for the people and I thought it was worth it really so um, they sent me this box so let me open it and have a look at what it's got in it if you're interested in joining yourself that's very lovely so it's got a little book there that you can make your perfume notes in. I like that. That's a lovely little idea. And then, oh, how apt. <laughs> it's got Versace Crystal Noir in it that we've just been looking at. How appropriate. Oh, that's brilliant. So it's actually got that in here. 
um, black currant, black fig, and violet. I knew it was it was um, it was unusual. Frangipani, tuberose, and jasmine. Yeah, very strong floral um, heart, and then it's vanilla and sandalwood in the base. I love how they do that. So they're actually giving you a picture of, of the fragrance that they've included. So let's see what's in it. Paco Rabanne Lady Million. Crabtree and Evelyn. Lily. Never smelt that one before. Just had a text come up from my husband upstairs saying I'm waking baby up with my voice. So I'm really going to have to whiz through now. What's this one? Atkinson's 24 Old Bond Street. Juicy Couture, Viva Le Juicy. Chloe, classic by Chloe, lovely, nice to have that one. Dali, wild, I like Salvador Dali, never heard of that one. Le de Tom, oh, that's like um, a cosy, comfy pair of slippers. Miller Harris. Fleur de Sel, never heard of that one. Okay, so they are all in here, I think. So they've kind of got a nice little thing to rip. Oh, beautiful. And there they all are in the pack. So I knew that was going to happen, of course. I've got another crystal Noir Versace now as well. I'm doing really well. So we've got that one. That's the Dali one. Atkinson's Old Bond Street. Not sure about that one. Interested to smell that. Oh, the Crabtree and Evelyn Lily is actually a hand cream. I'm assuming it's fragrance, sorry. That's a hand cream. And then all of the, these are actually just the little sample bottles that they've got. All just presented really, really nicely. And um, from Chloe there. So it's just really lovely. Um, I'm not sure. the Oh, the, this would have come in handy a minute ago. They're all little card strips so that you can spray <laughs> fragrances on them. I could have done with that before I went for my knee. Um, but anyway, it's a really lovely little box and I'm looking forward to getting um, more in the future now. They have a lot of um, different themes and things. Um, for £12.50, I think it's worth it. Um, so do, do check those out as well through the Perfume Society. I'm not sponsored by the way no one would sponsor me. Um, I have contacted a long time ago quite a few places and said, hey, look, I'm starting a YouTube channel. Help me out. Would you like to send me anything? Sorry, sorry, sorry. So I'm certainly not being, um, you know, I, I haven't been given that box. I'm here um, buying it as a, as a, as a normal customer. Um, and um, I, would, I would highly recommend you, you check that out as well. I'm really going to have to go now everyone because I can hear baby and I'm really um, worried that I've woken her up because it's it's echoing my voice around the house. It's so difficult um, but it's been so so lovely to have just spent this hour or so looking at all my, perf my new perfumes and um, it's just been great to catch up and I hope you've enjoyed it and please leave me a comment. Um, and let me know what you're wearing at the moment. Any any comments about the perfumes I've mentioned? It would just make my day. And um, I do hope to do that life update for you soon um, to tell you a little bit more about me personally and what's been going on. So um, thank you so much for watching. And if you're new to my channel, do subscribe. It would be fantastic. I'd love to get more subscribers. Um, and um, and I hope that you've enjoyed um, the catch up. So um, 
have a great January and I, I hope it, it, it perks up for us all and that my videos maybe cheered someone up a little bit. All right, guys, take care and I'll see you as soon as I possibly can. Okay, bye-bye.